Okay, it's come to that time of the time of the year again to where uh, we need to start thinking about posting our grades for the semester uh, exams, uh, for the semester report cards, and as well for uh, transcripts. So to do that, what you'll do is log into Texas Gradebook, and then you want to click on the grades section, and then go to cycle grades, just like you do at the end of a, a six weeks. You would do this for every class, uh, but this and this time you have to verify put the semester exam grades here. They don't go in your normal grade book. This is where the semester exam grades go at the very end, uh, right here in this in this column. So first thing is you're going to do is make sure that uh, that the cycle three is is what you want it to be. So it shows cycle three here, the averages that the students have, as well as your override column. So if you want to bump up, you know, say this student here has a 69, bump them up to 70. You can do that. Uh, you've got the comment column. Make sure and mark the comments, you know, with no spaces. So you can, you've got the legend over here that you can click at or look at and uh, and put in those those letters for the comments. And don't, don't put any spaces or comments. Just put the, the actual comment, and that's will show up on the report card. The next column is is very important. Uh, it has to have something, either an E for exempt. So let's say that this student Kevin Banda is exempt. I'm going to put a capital E. Um, if he's not exempt. I'm going to put his actual grade, uh, and then that will be calculated at 16% into uh, his semester grade. And then again, you have the override uh, that you can actually change that and bump what shows on his report card for, you know, same, same example, 69, 79, you want to bump it up for, for whatever reason. Uh, again, make sure to put the E if that student is exempt, you know, follow the rules of, of whatever set guidelines your campus has for exemptions. Uh, if they are exempt, put a capital E. Uh, if they aren't, it has to have a grade. So if, the, if there's no grade, you have to have an E for exempt. Um, and, and that's kind of how you go about uh, doing the, the grades for the semester. Again, you, have to, you do have to do this for every class, so you have to drop down and, and do retrieve that data for every class. Uh, at the end, when you're done with that first class, there will be the link over here to the right that says, uh, mark grades is ready to post. You click that, it'll ask you for your PIN, and uh, you, sh you put your PIN in and verify it, and it, it will say here on a, a next to each class, posted. Uh, so um, then, it, then it tells us in the office that we can go ahead and run report cards when everybody is posted. So I hope this video has helped you, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me, call me, come by my office, and I'll be glad to help you any way I can.